Welcome to another Friday episode and this is the last episode about trust. Well, actually trust always comes through in lots of lots of these episodes, but today we want to talk about the third part that you need to build trust and that is character. Now, we all have a certain character and we can still work on it and we can help let it shine through through our words and even more our actions. Our actions always speak much louder than our words and we will be more judged by our actions than by our words. You can see that very easily. If there's a mismatch between these, you will actually judge people by their actions, not by their words. That's why people say, practice what you preach. Very, very easy. Now, a couple of guidances on uh, what to do to let your good character shine through. So the first is make promises and then keep promises. And maybe you are someone like me that is kind of a people pleaser that always wants to make promises and then um, overloads themselves and cannot follow up on all of them. That's not good. The second thing, of course, is very easy. We probably heard it all when we have grown up. Be honest. Now, honest means that you also speak the truth even when it's difficult. Yeah. So honesty builds credibility. For example, providing constructive feedback. Yes, most people don't like it. If you, however, do that in a way so that the other person sees that you are want to help them with this constructive feedback, they will appreciate it much more than even the uh, supportive feedback. So, in other words, the positive feedback. People that really want to grow, they want to get better and they know that they mostly get better by learning and changing and doing something new. So giving constructive feedback in the right way helps a lot and lets your character shine through. I've already talked about it in the last episode. Listen actively also speaks about your character. Show empathy. People might have a hard time, a hard time. Not everything at work is always top priority. You know that, I know that, and therefore life happens. Yeah, Take that into account. Be consistent. Yeah, So set expectations, meet these expectations, and yeah, just follow kind of good business practices. That helps quite a lot. Next one, admit mistakes. If you have screwed up, Usually, it only gets really to a problem if you don't admit it. Or worse, if you finger point to others. That is really, really bad. Next one, and I think this is especially important in our international business and with all the digital things and working remotely. Respect boundaries. Don't set up meetings that happen, you know, late in another time zone. Yeah, just to expect that the others kind of dial in at 8 p.m. Just because you've forgotten that you are in a different time zone than them. Yeah, don't do that. Also, don't expect people to answer an email on the weekend and all these kind of different things. Support others. Help others. Even if that is not in your job description. It sounds kind of simple, yet it is so, so important. If someone else is kind of being talked bad about on the, in the, behind, the, behind their back, then call that out. Don't allow this kind of gossiping and all these kind of different things to happen. Yeah. By the way, as I'm doing the, this list of what you can do to let your good character shine through. There could be easily a list of how to 
what to do not to do because that will hurt your um, perception about your character and gossiping for sure is is part of that be transparent in terms of what are your conflicts of interests what are your thoughts what are your um, challenges what are kind of things you potentially can't do um, for whatever reason yeah if you struggle with things that is completely fine we all struggle with things not being transparent about it that is usually where it creates problems yeah if you take on tasks and then and you know already you can't deliver that's bad yeah or if you take on something that is not in agreement with what you have agreed with with the team yeah that is really bad show gratitude um, be gracious for uh, all the different things that are happening around uh, the positive things of course <laughs> you don't need to be gracious for the bad, uh, bad things but be gracious for uh, opportunities that you get for invites for um, things that others don't have yeah this kind of humble mindset will help a lot to build trust especially the more senior you are i probably told this story many times on on this podcast already but first time i met the most senior statistician at lily world of me at the time was he he was asking me lots of questions and he was curious and really interested in myself and he was the most down-to-earth person whatsoever although he was super experienced very well networked had a great impact on the company and all these kind of different things still he didn't let me feel that i was you know decades behind him no he was really really humble and and just talking to me and like you know on on, on equal footing that makes a huge difference so think about all the different things that you do consciously or potentially unconsciously this, these are the dangerous things yeah and for these have someone who can help you with that yeah i certainly had challenges my own challenges about a couple of different behaviors and these were not helpful i had good mentors supervisors coaches that helped me to overcome these challenges and these these blind spots these these blind spots are probably the most dangerous areas you know, the things that you do that you don't know you're doing yeah? and that are hurting you so invest in these yeah these will help a lot to increase the trust in you and as i talked about in the last episodes trust is really the foundation of everything and if you're good in building trust everything else will be much much easier so build trust and be an effective statistician mm-hmm.